Hello and welcome to Elizabeth's Craft Room. Um, today I'm going to show you how to decorate one of these um, bags, these gift bags. Uh, they come in a pack of 10. Um, they're called the Petite Cafe gift bags, but they are anything but petite. They are actually, they measure about 8 inches by about 3 and a quarter inches. Um, and when you open them up, let me show you, they open up to be about two and a half inches across the bottom they've got I don't know if you can see but like a glossy um, interior so these are food safe you could put something quite sticky in there and then this piece here um, is I think um, filled with um, metal on the inside so that you can actually bend those pieces around to seal it so really nice and substantial. You can find these on page 10 of the Autumn Winter Catalogue. You get 10 in the pack for £5.50. So they're really good value. Now you can stamp straight onto the bags and I have done some examples on my blog um, showing that. Um, but today I just thought I'd show you a, a simple um, sort of stamping and decorative technique for this. So for this first, I'm going to take some of the uh, designer series paper from the Trim the Tree stack, which is a beautiful stack of paper. And I've cut a piece here. That is um, three inches across. And then I've taken the actual length that's on that, um, on that stack, which is six and a half inches. So I haven't sort of um, uh, changed that at all. So for my other layers, I've got this piece here. This is Mossy Meadow and this is at four and a quarter inches by two and three quarter inches. Um, and then I've got a piece of very vanilla and that is coming in at four inches by two and a half inches. So I'm going to stamp this first and I'm going to stamp with the Ornamental Pine um, stamp set. Now this is really pretty and you could use any of the stamps from here um, to decorate. Um, but what I'm going to use is I'm going to use the Christmas Wishes and I'm going to use the Bauble image. And the Christmas Wishes I'm going to stamp in uh, Garden Green and the Bauble in Cherry Cobbler. I'm starting off with the bauble and I'm just going to go right in the middle. Pretty, pretty. Can you see the detail on that? It's just gorgeous. Sorry about the lighting here today. It is a bit gloomy outside Elizabeth's craft room. So we've not got brilliant lighting as I'm videoing today. Right, I'm going to go in with my Christmas wishes across there. And I'm going to do that again down here. And then I just grab a little scrap here to go over the edges. Oh, definitely not the right thing to do. Don't put your cherry cobbler into your garden green ink. We all do it. Okay, and just like that. So I'm just going to put those in. Just pretty. Very, very simple to do. Nothing, nothing technical about that. And we're going to layer these pieces up. I'm going to use a little bit of Tombow to do that. Pop that on. Now, if I had some Garden Green cardstock, I would be using Garden Green to layer up. But I'm all out of Garden Green today. It's on my list I try and keep a little bit of everything in. But that one's just fallen through the net. We could use either side on there. Actually, I like this side. What do you think? This has got um, a kind of... Um, um, let me just check on the list and see what that's going to be. So it's like early espresso and Sahara sand on that side. And I think because it's less busy, um, it's making me like, like the look of that better. So... layer that up Ooh, and I'm going to put this a little bit lower down I've forgotten that but I've just looked at my sample and remembered so a little bit lower down and that is so not in the middle luckily with Tombow 
if you're quick, you can have another go. So down nearer to the bottom here is what I want. That's better. That looks better and a little straighter. Okay. Now this is going to go on here and I'm going to pop that on at the moment with a couple of dimensionals. that on the front and then I'm going to finish off with a bow and I'm going to do that in cherry cobbler seam binding ribbon. Let's pop that just on there. And this is so lovely to tie seam binding. I really love it. It's a beautiful um, soft ribbon. going to tie a bow. I always try and leave the ribbon on the reel when I'm using it in my craft room. Um, it means that you can, you know, you're not wasting ribbon. You can just trim off the exact amount that you need once your, your bow is tied. Cute. And there we go. So really easy to decorate. Very reasonable price and just beautiful um, as a, um, a contents for some, um, uh, as a packaging for some gifts, um, maybe some cookies that you might like to take over to somebody at Christmas. But also think about the new year. Um, these um, bags are in our autumn winter catalogue, so no guarantees they're going to carry over. But you might like to put a couple of those in your cupboard because think of those all year round. I think they're, um, I think they're a really nice packaging idea. Thank you for visiting Elizabeth's Craft Room today. If you'd like to see some more examples of how to decorate these bags, check out my blog, elizabethscraftroom.blogspot.com and I look forward to welcoming you back here again soon. Love.